right, folks, it is November the 3rd. It is a overcast day. We've had several days of rain in the past few days, and we're gonna have nothing but rain Sunday and Monday, and I believe Tuesday. Uh, so pretty much all the rivers are hard to fish right now. They're murky and rising. Um, so I decided to do something I haven't done in a long time, and that is purposely fish for pickerel. Because where we are at today, it can rain a lot and it does not get affected by the rain because it is a spring-fed pond and the only kind of species in this entire pond is chain pickerel and a few grass pickerel but the only kinds of fish in here is pickerel and I haven't made a really I haven't really pursued pickerel on purpose in probably over a year so it was just something different and it was easy to go without getting wet or getting the canoe out. It's just real easy to walk around. And I know if I get a bite, I know exactly what it is. And there's some big pickerel in here. So we're gonna try our luck with chain pickerel today. Uh, it's about 55 degrees. Pretty good breeze going, maybe seven, eight mile an hour wind. Basically, this is one of the very few springs that are in this area that has pickerel, but is not part of the National Wild and Scenic Rivers, which are all considered national parks and you're not allowed to fish. This is one of the few exceptions to where you can actually fish. So, um, and in the summertime, it gets so grown up with hydrilla and whatnot that it makes it almost impossible to fish. Some of that to die off before you're able to get them. So we're gonna see what we can get. <coughs> I'm using a Z Man fluke, a swim bait fluke. Finally, finally got him. <laughs> Woo! After about 10 minutes of trying for the same fish, guys. He's about an 18 incher. Little chain pickerel. All right. I got him on the black and white twister tail. Whoa, that's why they call them snot rockets. And I'm gonna have to have more. Maybe just maybe. Yep. He's on the hook. Pretty bad. They're not biting real great today. They're being real weary. This guy shadowed it about three or four times. He'd fall it all the way to the bank, but not attack it. And finally, I got it. I slowed my presentation. That's what it's all about sometimes. Get a good look at him. It's about 
Oh, 18 inches. Same camera. Let's get a bigger one. I got another one, folks. Fine. Little guy, he's still only about the whole thing. Where is it? It's a chain picker. There we go. All right, I got a nice one. Right? There we go. Yeah, this one's bigger. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one's over a foot anyway. Oh boy. Stay on there. Good God. <clears throat> He's got me in the weeds too, man. Oh yeah, that's a nice one here. There we're talking. That's what I've been after. This is a decent one. Caught him on the pink flower tail, four inch grub. This one might go 19 or 20. Not bad. About, yeah, about 18, 18 or 19. Still a decent pickle. Not bad. A big old, big old mouth on it. That's number three for me. So it hasn't been a total skunk. I can get him back in. And uh, see if I can get him out and just keep walking around it. Right. It finally paid off. Spring that comes from the lake has a little outlet and it comes in here. It's only about a hundred yards or so away from the main river. And I'm going to try to fish 
right where that spring meets the river. See if I can get something. Ain't got much time. It's already quarter to five in the evening. Just never know. There's usually a pickle or a bass or two in that outlet there. Pretty cool. If it's even deep, should be a little hole there. Easily, uh, oh yeah, I'll catch something for sure. Yeah, good feeling about it actually. I didn't get a crop here too because of it being nice and calm. Really good looking hole. The only downside is a lot of snags and I can't see them because the water is rising right now from the heavy rains we've had. It ain't, it ain't murky yet, but it will be soon probably. I can't see all the snags. We'll just have to find a clearing. There we go. All right. Looks like a big crappie, yes. All right. Well, he's not big, but it's crappie nonetheless. Oh. Uh, hey, gosh darn it. Come here. You're caught. Lily, look. All right. Little black crappie. He's a lot smaller than I thought. He's seven inches. Hey, I knew right away that this was going to have something in it. <laughs> White and chartreuse, green scrub. It's in time for the evening bite. And we all know that where there's one crappie, there's always more. Let's see if I can get another one. They're always in this spot. There he is. Oh, yeah. oh man, that was a big crappie too. God. Did you see it? It was bigger, bigger than my last one for sure. Man. May have even been a slab. He at least can. No, it's a big pickerel. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm after today, hey. Big pickerel. Another big pickerel, honey. All right, he's another 18 or 19 incher. I ain't got my, oh yeah, I do have my tape measure with me, but I ain't got much time, enough time to be doing stuff like that. It's fish, fish, fish right now. With a decent pick. Caught him on a white and charge loose. Three inch twister tail. And I have no choice but to get the wires out. I knew there was going to be a fish sitting there. I just knew it. I knew it as soon as I walked up to it. Calm down, buddy. I got you. Alright, that's four pickers for me today, so I think I'm. We end up having a pretty good day. We're just right across the river from where the spring comes in, so they're still in the ri river quite a bit right here. Because the water temperature is constant. Let's get a good look at him. If he quit wiggling, my goodness, there's, they are one hard fish to hold, I tell you. He's probably the biggest one I caught today or this time. 
<sighs> yeah, he's 18 even. Not quite. What a decent hit on the line. I just caught a big pickerel. It's just not very deep in here. It's only about three or four foot deep. So you gotta be careful and not let your lure, you gotta reel it in pretty quick. There he was. There he is. Got it. Oh man. This cannot be a crappie. I don't know. No, it's not. It's a bass or pickerel. It's green. All right, folks, I got something nice here. A spotted bass. Not bad. That was what pecked at it earlier two times. I told you he was sitting right there. I knew exactly where he was sitting. I thought it was a crappie though, the way it pecked. That's big. That's a big spotted bass here. Here, folks. That is a nice spot. I bet he's two pounds. He's real fat. He's fattening up for the winter. He's only about 14 inches, 15, but he is. That is one heavy spotted bass. They get real fat in October and November. They really put on some weight. How girthy he is. It looks like they're pregnant sometimes this time of the year. That's a nice spotted bass. Lovely. Good way to end the day. My Really my only bass. So I caught four pickerel, one crappie, and one spotted bass. And that's a nice Black River spot right there. Wow. About 14 inches. But it's a hefty one. It's really, really thick. Hot belly. A lot of backbone on it. I'm scared him doing that. Well, I done scared him anyway. Well, at least we ended the day with a nice bass. What a beauty. Alright, we're gonna get her put back in and we're gonna head home. I was gonna rake rake leaves tomorrow, but the leaves are all too wet, so uh, but there's a 60% chance of rain, so I may not be able to go tomorrow. You're hung. All right, folks, let's get her in. Nice autumn spotted bass right there. Look at that. That's a two pounder. What are you doing? Gosh. No chance now. It was bad enough I scared him by catching a fish, but at least that wasn't my fault. You ain't casting hard enough or something. I keep getting leaves almost every time. Ends our day. We're gonna head home now. I'm content, especially after getting that spotted bass at the end of the day. So four pickerel. One crappie in one spot. They were all fairly decent fish. Good variety. Got what I was coming after, and that was pickerel. Uh, one was 10 inches, but the other three were 17s and 18s. So fairly decent fish. Today would have been a perfect day to do a float trip. The leaves are just absolutely amazing. But I had to work until noon, so I just couldn't do it. It was cloudy the entire day, but never rained, so it was ideal floating condition. It's about 55 degrees at the peak, 50 degrees most of the rest of the day. Not cold, but not hot. You know, I just need a sweater or whatever. Uh, and tomorrow, actually the next two days is almost a guarantee of rain all day, so I won't be able to float tomorrow. I'll just have to call this my trip for the week. 
I'm just gonna do stuff around the house tomorrow until I stay home. Do some cleaning. And just be lazy and watch TV. So. Alright guys, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next session. Alright.